Ayo. Yes, ma'am. There's something I would love to discuss with you. What's that? You know, since when your dad has left us, things have not been easy for us. Meanwhile, no family member to assist us. Okay, do you remember my friend, younger sister, that got married three years ago? Mm, I can't remember. You forgot since so easy. You don't know Auntie Jumoke. Okay? Mm, that's strict Auntie. That your love. She told me she needed a young girl that would take care of her two years or so while she's at home. I can't be staying with anyone that would be maltreating me on. Wait, that you. Jumoke had a long talk with me and she promised never to maltreat you. She's a very nice person. She would take very good care of you. Dayo, look straight into my eyes. I'm talking to you. I'm assuring you that Jumoke will take very good care of you. Let's make things easier. At least the burden on you will be reduced. And I will know it's your three younger brother will face. My love. Jumoke. Yes, Mommy Dayo. Please, you know Dayo is the only daughter I have. Please, do not hesitate to correct her whenever she talks anymore. And you know she's just 13 years of age. Please, let's join us together to bring out the best out of her. As a girl's child, I beg of you, Jumoke. That's not a problem, Mommy Dayo. I will play my part and make sure I bring the best out of her as a girl's child. Thank you so much and God bless you. You are always welcome on the So Dayo, please look straight into my eyes. You know you are the only daughter I have. Please do not shame me. Whatever is bothering you, you are free to talk to Auntie John, okay? She's going to put you through. Coping to go to work all this while because I learned that the road um, to Kuba is under construction. Dayo, I had to wake up very early in the morning and hit the road while I take my son first thing to the school crash because it opened as early as 6 a.m. Then after which I hit the road to be able to play a bit traffic. It has not been easy. So stressful. Can I say that again? It is well, Jumoke. I believe with time everything will be alright. Since my baby girl is here with you, she's going to do whatever she's supposed to do. Jumoke, let me be on my way right now. Oh, Mom, that was so soon. Why not wait? Uh, lunch is about like getting ready so that you can dine with us. Jumoke, do not bother. I'm going to the store right now, and I think I'm ready. Well, next weekend, I promise to check on you guys. Okay, we'll be expecting you. All right, you're okay. Thank you. Welcome. All right, you're welcome. Let me see you. Okay. Oh, no, 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 Dayo! Oh, my auntie! Dayo, what are you doing? And who is Dayo? I don't mind. 
Good morning, young man. How may I whatever you oh, please, I was looking for Simpson Street when I lost my way. Simpson Street? Yes, ma'am. In this estate? Yes, ma'am. There's no street called Simpson Street. Okay, ma'am. No problem, ma'am. No problem, ma'am. I'll just take my leave. But he said there is no need for that because yes. Dio, the, ma do you want to listen to the gospel truth? Yes, auntie. That young child, yes, he does not have any good plan for you. He just wants to get you laid. And if you fall into his trap, just forget about it. Do you understand me? You are just a young girl, and at your age, remember your mom and, and I have given you enough uh, orientation on sex education. So, at this stage, you should know what is right for you. Do you understand me? And I want to make this clear to you, Dayo. That mobile phone I bought for you, at your age, I'm not supposed to buy that mobile phone. You're not supposed to own a mobile phone at your age, but I bought that mobile phone for you so that I'll be communicating with me while I'm at the, uh, at the office. That's why I bought the mobile phone for you. But like, want to make, uh, you, don't, you don't want to make good use of that mobile phone, I can see. No, Auntie, Auntie, I'm sorry. I'm not pretty again. I'm really sorry. But Auntie, I'm really, I'm really confused. I don't know what to do. You are confused? I'm sorry. I can see that you are really confused. Mm. Okay. Let's see what we have. Let's, let's play a fast one on him. Tomorrow, after service, I will pretend just invite him over. While I pretend I am not at home, you understand. So let's see how it goes from there. Okay. Go and check on Junior. You understand? Right. Go and check on Junior and see if he's still sleeping. Okay, Thank you. Don't say. Hello, please excuse me. Please take your shoes out. I never knew yet, I never knew yet, I never knew yet, I swear. But I know probably now, you're 
leaves me, I go put in a cup. I'm on a no leg in a no one. No one. No one. Come on, get out. 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 Look at my eyes. Look straight into my eyes. Next time I see you and around my girl or in this around this vicinity or I see you near my gates. I'm going to fist you to my dogs. Now, where your slippers are leaving? Or oh, help I'll fist you to my dogs. Ouch! <laughs>